Hey everybody, you're coming out today. We're gonna to be crappie fishing. And uh, the crappie are starting to spawn, so we're gonna be starting to head back into the creek. And that's where I'm heading today. So I'm expecting them to be shallow. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for me to find them. Uh, but it's windy today. I'm blocked right here where I'm at right now by some trees, but it is windy. But once I get up into the creek, it shouldn't be too bad. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. We would appreciate it if you did. Each video that we do, we're gonna be giving you some tips and techniques on how to uh, improve your fishing. And then if there's something you would like to see specifically, put it in the comments. If there's something you want us to cover, put it in the comments and then we'll do that. All right. Thanks. We'll see you on the water. All right. They didn't want that orange and yellow. So I'm switching to a little blue chartreuse color. Let's see if they'll take that. Okay. I see one right there next to me. It's kind of underneath the branch. Down at about eight feet. Trying to keep it just above them. You don't want to go beneath them. You want to stay above them and let them rise up to you. You can catch crappie every now and then if you go too low, but the majority of the time though, they're going to come up and strike up at you. So you want to stay above them as much as possible. One of the things you want to also keep an eye out for is the sun. I got one right there. Hang on. He just swam by. If you have the sun at your back, it'll throw that shadow in front of you. And then the crappie, they don't like that shadow. They don't know if they think it's a predator fish or, or what. But so if you can avoid it, go ahead and, and try to face into it if you can. But you can't always with the way the wind direction and things are so and then when you get one right there near you slowly raise that rod and they'll usually follow it up and then hit it we got the wind out of the northeast today we had a cold front cold front and we had several inches of rain and i'm not getting anything to react the only thing i've had so far is fish swim up to it and then swim away so i've tried three different colors like a baby shad you know, sparkly, silver, black, orange and yellow. And I'm using the blue green now. So after that, I'm going to go to like a black and black pink, maybe, or black and chartreuse. Try to find something with the color they want to hit. I didn't bring any live bait today, so they're not getting that. They're not getting that meat. They're just getting plastic. I did put some crappie nibbles on there though to see if that'll help. We're going to keep moving because that one, there's a couple of fish in it. They don't want to bite. So we're going to keep moving. We're not going to waste our time with them. All right. Now I've switched to a black and pink because I might, can't get them to bite these lighter colors. So we're going to try this. All right. I'm having trouble getting them to bite. So I'm switching to a small hair jig and see if this will work. Do I see fish? Just not having much luck getting them to bite. Right above one. Got him. That's a good one. All right, first fish of the day. The smaller bait profile worked this time, so that's all the only thing I can say is if you're going and you're having you're seeing fish. I tried, I think, five different colors, and the only thing I did then was I was gotta go switch, go smaller and see. So after you try all them, that's really all you can do. You see fish, and I'm in this creek, fishing in eight feet of water. I see several crappie on this brush pile down there. Oh. Oh, this stinking tree. Missed him. I missed him. All right, I'm right above two crappie here. These stinking things will not bite. I've tried six different colors, and I finally went to a smaller. Oh, there's one. Got him. Uh, I finally went to a smaller jig, and that's what I got him to bite. Instead of a two inch, I went to like an inch and a half. But I just picked one off of this brush pile here. 
Nice fish right there, just underneath me. Come on. Got him. That's a good one. All right. Slow slab. Two. Two good ones right here. Just beneath me. You always want to keep that. It's cut up. You always want to keep that. Oh, he's got it. That's a good one. You want to keep that line, your jig or your lure there just above them. Another good crappie. So, yeah, you always want to keep it just above them. And then when you see them turn, slowly raise it and you'll see them follow it and chase it up. I see several more in there. I'm in seven and a half feet of water and they were hitting that at about four feet. So we're gonna go back down to about four feet again. And I couldn't give them the bite, um, the big ones earlier. And I tried, well, two inch, I say big, but two inch. Uh, and I tried, um, I think five different colors and they just didn't want it. So I switched to a, a inch and a half hand tied jig from Lone Star, Lone Star Jigs. And uh, that's what they were wanting today. All right, so there's a couple ways you, now you can see I'm caught up. You don't want to keep just pulling your rod. It's going to dig that hook in deeper, and it's not good for your rod tip either. So the first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to reel down straight, and I'm going to take this line, and I'm going to pop it and see if it'll send that shock wave down there to unhook itself. There we go. And then... Nine out of 10 times, that works, just popping that line to try to send that shockwave of line down to unrelease that hook. So um, if that doesn't work, then just reel down as close as you can get and then pull your rod straight with your line straight. Now, two things are gonna happen, either you're gonna break your line off or you're gonna straighten your hook out, which you can take pliers and bend it back into shape. But that's a good point to do, don't, don't, Keep bending up. It's not good for the rod tip. Either pull it straight and try to pop it or pull it straight and try to straighten your hook or break your line. That's going to be the best for your rod tip without doing any damage to it. So I passed a boat that was coming out of here earlier. I didn't see him on this spot. I saw him just a little bit down the channel. But uh, if the, uh, a lot of times if the uh, crappie or several are caught from that one spot, the, they'll just stop biting for a while. I guess they notice too many of their family members gone and they say, oh, something's going on here. That's one of the things that LiveScope has, has taught me just by seeing a pattern that I'd be on a brush pile catching fish and then all of a sudden, I mean, there's still dozens there, but they would just stop. And a lot of times the crappie would move if you're on a big brush pile and you've caught several, that whole school will move from where you're at and you can see them on your LiveScope, your forward face sonar that you can see them just Swim away and go to a different spot of the brush pile. And that may be what's happening here right now. All right, I gotta go. It's getting late. It's gonna take me a while to get back.
Hey guys, got out did some crappie fishing today up in the creek. Uh, most of the fish, I was in really like four to four to nine feet of water, and most of the fish were biting somewhere around the five foot mark. So, um, you know, the big thing with when you're crappie fishing, though, I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again: is keep that bait just above them. You can get crappie to bite occasionally if you go beneath them, but uh, the majority of the time they won't. So you gotta have that bait up above them and then they'll come up. Once you see them starting to approach, just slowly lift that rod and you'll see the fish starting to chase it and then they'll hit it and just set the hook on them. So um, right down the spawn, you can find some a little bit staging on timber just outside the creek, but a lot of them are moving up into the creek. So I went back about a mile and a half up to where it narrows. So I was about a mile and a half inside that creek, almost towards the back of it. But once you find them, uh, you can typically give them to bite. Today was a slow day. I saw several dozen crappie. Uh, a lot of them, they just would swim up to it and then swim away. I went through, I tried six different colors. And then finally what I got them to bite on was a inch and a half hair jig uh, from Lone Star Jigs. And um, that's what worked today. So. Uh, you just got to find that color that's going to get them to start biting and then stick with that and then make adjustments as needed. But uh, today, that's what works for me. And it, but it was still a slow day. But I got to come home with some crappie, bring home some groceries, and I had a great time out on the water. All right. See you next time.